It's 8.02 and you're listening to KBOO Portland. Our guest is program manager Michael Tete on the victories and challenges of the nonprofit grocery store and its sister organization, Village Gardens, which grows in locations around the city, the produce that's sold at the Village Market. Michael, thanks for being here. Hey, Lisa. Thanks for having me. First, let's roll out the vision because there's a lot that you guys do over there. It's not just a grocery store. Tell us about your vision. What do you guys do? And happy first birthday, by the way. Yes, Village Market is a place. It's a physical location, but it's also a symbol of the hard work of an entire community. I've been volunteering in this community since I got here, and now I'm working in it. I'm serving the community. Nonprofit, community serving communities is exactly what it stands for. We're Portland's only nonprofit grocery store, and that means a lot. It means that Village Market is driven by certain obligations. Obligations like providing job opportunities for community members, leadership development opportunities for our staff, and putting the needs and well-being of our community members first. You've heard the phrase, shop local. Well, Village Market is super local. At the micro level, our mission is to provide fresh, affordable produce to the neighborhood. But on the macro level, we want to rewrite the book on what it means to be a consumer. We call the people who shop here community members, not customers, because the dollars they spend go right back into the community. By supporting Village Market, you're not only supporting the store, but also the people who work and volunteer here. You're supporting our gardens, our community projects, and our health and education programs. Our role here at the market is really just one piece in a growing network of community action a network of people who want to see their community thrive. And we want everyone to feel like a part of this project. I think at the heart Village Gardens, um, all the programs are community-based and really try to empower folks, be in positions to make decisions for their community, uh, and also just to really see the sort of changes that they want to see. So FoodWorks is the high school or teenage youth side of that. We uh, employ about uh, 15, 30 youth throughout the course of the year um, and they are in charge of and responsible for running a, a farm market business. And they did a lot of cool work uh, emailing back and forth, sitting down and saying, hey, we really want our vegetables uh, to go to our neighbors and uh, we really want them to have the opportunity to have healthy, organic, local produce. They're going to be out here in the summer harvesting their vegetables. Whether you're working in the gardens, or shopping at our store, or buying our produce at a farmer's market, we believe those are positive, community-minded choices. This is a big effort, and we need lots of people taking part in all sorts of different ways. First off, and the easiest, come shop at the store. Then, volunteer your time, offer a donation, or just pass the word along. Every little bit helps and there are so many things that you can do. At Village Market, we really believe that you can lead from just about anywhere. What do you like best about the Village Market? The healthy food, food choice. The last, the last door they had me going back and forth yeah. to the dentist all day because of my cavities, my tooth was hurting. Yeah. So the Village Market helped me change around, and I like their sandwiches, they're bomb. Yeah, their sandwiches are good. But what Village Market does is we want to provide affordable groceries to the neighborhood of the New Columbia so that everyone out here can have a healthy alternative to living and eating and life. Not everything is perfect. We are still very much a work in progress, but there is a role for anyone who wants to help out. Our work here makes us feel like a part of something much larger, and we want you to feel like a part of that too. On May 28th, we're celebrating our first year in business. And we are now officially Portland's best kept secret. The really amazing part about New Columbia is that of that population, over half of those folks are under the age of 18. Just a bunch of amazing young people out there. And when I get an opportunity to talk about New Columbia, I really get a chance to let people know that the future actually lives right there in New Columbia.